know we gotta put a stop to this. We can't keep up this here charade. I mean, if Daniel were to find out about us. Oh, but Thomas, it isn't fair. I'm nothing without you. I love you more than life itself. Let's run away together, huh? You and me. Somewhere far away from here. Get away from this mess. I know we don't have much. Victoria, and what do you suppose we do? Just up and make tracks with the clothes on our backs? And jump from boxcar to another? Like a couple of penniless hobos? Look, Vicky, I love you, honey. And I want to be with you in a real big way. But it'd be a brody to skip town. Like a pair of grifters without us so much as I'll be seeing you. Looks like someone's hopped up on a giggle juice. You beat up old tin can. Big idea picking on a poor defenseless guy like me. Pick on someone your own size. Hey. Buddy, I'm sorry. Hey, Pally. Beat it before I get on the horn and call the coppers on you. You stinking drunk. Tom? Tom? Oh, buddy, old pal! Put her there! How the heck are you? What brings you to my neck of the woods? Oh, Daniel. How are you? I can't complain. Listen, buddy. Why don't you take it on the heel and toe before you end up in the slammer? Hey, don't, don't leave. leave. I give you my blessings, I swear. <sighs> don't leave. I love both of you. Both years. Don't leave. How could they leave? <laughs> Me all alone. Here in this world. I miss them so much. I miss her. I miss Vicky. This was the first time I saw her standing there, waiting for the bus. I remember it like it was yesterday. I knew she was going to be the one to help me. Help me get out of the hole I dug for myself. I know the second I get close enough to her. Close enough to smell her. I die. Who is this girl? Does it even matter? I mean, it's not like we're going to have a relationship or something. Yeah, right. In a dream. But they say you only dream what you know. So it must mean something. Why do I keep seeing her, but I don't know who she is? Daniel. Hey, are we still on for tonight?
killed us. Anybody home? Where is everybody? I wonder where everybody went. Here?
Don't you want me, Daniel? By the way you move, what man wouldn't want you? I'm curious, though. How do you know my name? As soon as I walked in, it felt as though every bone in my body disappeared upon seeing my baby sister in the tub, lifeless. I couldn't understand it. How could she think that this was the only way? Why would she do this? Now I have no one. I'm all alone. What do you mean, how could she do this? It's your fault! You stole her future. You drove away the only man she ever loved. You were supposed to protect her. Can't you see that? Oh, why? Are we still pretending? The drinking didn't help. I should have been that protector. It's your fault! It's your fault! To hookers! To hookers! <laughs> Dead hookers! Dead hookers! <laughs> Terrible accent! <laughs> Alright, so when was the last time you went to the uh, uh, I can't remember the last time I had a good one. She was. Catch your tune, huh? Bet your bottom dollar it is. You gotta be a ten year not to think so. Singing the words right out of my heart. What story, Morning Glory? Daniel, I'm dizzy with a dame. In love? You? Now you're on the trolley. Well, Tom, that's swell, but who's the lucky lady? Is she a looker? Do I know her? Oh yeah, she's a real peach. An old filly of ours. Come on, out with it. Don't leave me dangling here like a fish on a hook. Who is it? It's your sister. What about my sister? What's she have to do with this? Everything under the light of the moon, you see. I'm in love with her. <laughs> Victoria! Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a knee slapper. You're pulling my leg. You're pulling my leg. Tom, smarten up. I love Vicky, but she's a real twist. She only gives the time of day to low life crumbs, not stand up guys like you. Daniel, I think you're wrong about her. Tom, 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 she's my sister. Who would know better than me? Look, there's there's plenty of other broads you can pass the time with. Like Scarlet over there. She's a pistol, and boy, if she isn't her namesake. Look, Tom, here's the skinny. Those scrubs she runs all over town with, believe you me, I'd like to pump them full of lead. If it were up to me, everyone as filthy, stinking bums would be sleeping with the fishes for making my baby sister cry. It tugs my heartstrings every time I see a tear fall from her eyes. But every heartache makes her tough. 
pretty hard-boiled team she is. Heart of Stone. A regular man-eater that Victoria is. I don't want to see the same thing happen to you, Tom. You're like a brother to me. This business with you and Victoria, it's all wet. Forget about it. I can't even begin to imagine how you're feeling, losing the baby. But trust me, everything happens for a reason. And it just wasn't meant to be right now. I love you, Vicky. And this is not the end. But we've just got to be honest with Daniel. Daniel? Daniel wouldn't know honesty if it reached up and kicked him in the pants. <laughs> He's a twit and a real pill. Oh, Thomas. I simply can't bear it. Hey, Vicky. I know I'm early, but... Thomas? Hey, what's going on? Daniel, Thomas and I are in love. We're leaving. So you're just gonna leave me here all by myself? After everything I've done for you, you selfish bitch! Is that what you wanted to talk to me about? Daniel's not what it... You, Thomas. Daniel, stop it! Thomas, you don't have to go anywhere. Okay? I don't give a damn what you do with those losers you hang around with. We both know you don't care anything about them. But now you're gonna go after Thomas? My best friend? What the hell's wrong with you, Vicky? It's different with him. You're goddamn right it's different. It was never my best friend before. How is he so different? Because I've never been in love before. And I've never been pregnant before. I love you. But you and Thomas are no more. I can't live like this anymore. It's killing me, and it's killing us. We're in love, Daniel. And I lost the baby. <laughs> hey, I don't care anymore. You don't exist. Have a wonderful life. No. <laughs> that was the last time I saw her alive. Uh, pumpkin spice. Hey, are we still on for tonight? So what's your deal with him? Who, Matthew Head? Oh, he's amazing. Have you heard of him? Of course I have. Who hasn't? Now don't try to change the subject, Nicole. You know who I'm talking about. The guy that gets you all googly-eyed. I know, I know. It's just... He doesn't even notice me. 
I don't believe it. As many men that come in here that are falling all over you, a guy would have to be blind not to notice you. That's sweet, but he's the only one who's ever captured my attention. He's the only one I've ever had a stimulating conversation with. It's just weird because he acts as if he doesn't even remember me. I mean, I put on all my best moves when he comes in. I even go to the back and put on my sweetest perfume. Well, there's your first mistake. We work at a coffee shop. All you can smell are beans, beans, and more beans. I guess you're right. But I don't understand how two people can have so much chemistry one night, and then all of a sudden, it just disappears. One night? You're kidding, right? No, it wasn't like that. I meant the night we met. Well, I met him at a Halloween party. I was just milling around, and then I saw him. He was with another guy and a woman. They seemed really close, so I thought it was his girlfriend at first. But the other guy noticed me staring and whispered something in his ear. Later on, I saw the other guy and the woman snuck off in a corner, and they were all over each other. <laughs> was all alone, so I approached him. I, uh, like your costume. Thanks. You're pretty tall to the bricks yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, who was that guy you were talking to? And what did he say? Well, he's my best buddy in the world. He said that you're the prettiest dame on either side of the equator. I believe him. I, uh, notice there aren't any holes in that mask for your eyes. Isn't that gonna make it pretty hard to see a beautiful dame like me? You don't need to see to understand truth. You can feel it. Sure, you can see a beautiful sunrise, but... It's nothing without the feeling you get inside when all the elements are combined. The feeling of the soft mist of dew on your skin. The aroma of the flowers that wake up with the day. The beautiful sounds of the birds that sing the song that brings in the morning. The taste on your lips from the gentle kiss of warmth from the sun's rays. The fulfillment of the promise of another day. When you experience something with more than one of your senses, then and only then can you fully appreciate that moment. Like this moment. I can't see you, but that doesn't stop me from being hypnotized by your mesmerizing voice. We're enjoying the touch of your silky, supple skin. Imagining the sweet taste of your lips. God, you smell wonderful. And realizing the genuine quality I sense in you. Seeing isn't always believing, baby, but what you feel is always true. At least that's what I've always said. Wow. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Say, honey, why don't you put me out of my misery and tell me your name? I'm Nikki. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. I could have sworn it was Angel, because you sure have the face of one. Name's Daniel. It's a pleasure to meet you, Daniel. Believe you me, sweetie. Pleasure's mine. Well, girl, pull out all the stops outside of this place. And don't forget to woo him with your secret weapon. Without the distraction of 100% Colombian, your essence may trigger something.
second I get close enough to her, close enough to smell her.